In this video, I will show you another example of Jenner diode clipper circuit. Here, I will show you how to calculate the output voltage, how to draw the output waveform, and the transfer characteristics for this given network. Finally, I will show you a circuit simulation so that you get the better idea of the circuit. This is our given clipper circuit. This is our applied input voltage VI. This applied input voltage has its positive maximum plus 20 volt, negative maximum minus 20 volt. In this circuit, we have this series resistor of 1 kilo ohm. Here we have this Jenner diode whose Jenner breakdown voltage Vz is equal to 6.2 volt. And for this Jenner diode, we will assume the built-in potential Vk will be equal to 0 0.8 volt. Okay. We will take the output across this terminal to this terminal by considering this terminal is at high potential and this terminal is at lower potential. To solve this kind of circuit at first, we will identify the regions of applied voltage Vi for which the Jenner diode operates in forward bias, non-conducting state or off state and in Jenner breakdown region. So this is our circuit. From the IP characteristics of the Jenner diode, it is evident that if the applied forward voltage is greater than built-in potential, our Jenner diode will be in forward bias. If the applied reverse voltage is greater than Vz, the Jenner diode will operate in Jenner breakdown region. Between this Jenner breakdown and the forward bias region, there will be a non-conducting or in or an off state of Jenner diode. Okay, so if I consider the positive half cycle of the applied voltage first. During positive half cycle, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. The positive terminal of the applied voltage will be connected with the P side of the Jenner diode and negative terminal will be connected with the N side of the Jenner diode. In that case, the Jenner diode should be in forward bias. But from the forward characteristics, we can see that as long as the input voltage will be less than the built-in potential, our Jenner diode will not conduct. So as I will assume the built-in potential of the Jenner diode will be 0 0.8 volt. If the applied voltage Vi is greater than 0 0.8 volt or greater than built-in potential, the Jenner diode will operate in this region or Jenner diode will be in forward bias. But if the Vi is less than 0 0.8 volt, the Jenner diode will be in non-conducting or in off state. So let's say if this is that 0 0.8 volt region of positive half cycle, this portion of the voltage will indicate the off state of the Jenner diode, and this portion will indicate the forward bias region of the Jenner diode. Now consider the negative half cycle. During negative half cycle, this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive. The positive terminal will be connected with the N side of the Jenner diode and negative terminal will be connected with the P side of the Jenner diode. So during negative half cycle, the Jenner diode should be in reverse bias. From the IP characteristics, we know that as long as the reverse voltage is not greater than Vz, the Jenner diode will be in off state. Therefore, as the Jenner voltage is Vz, which is equal to 6.2 volt here, let's say I am indicating minus 6.2 volt with this dotted line. If the input voltage Vi
is greater than minus 6.2 volt we will not get sufficient voltage between this terminal to this terminal to operate the Jenner diode in reverse breakdown region so our Jenner diode will be in off state or in non-conducting state therefore the non-conducting state of the Jenner diode will be between this 0 0.8 to minus 6.2 volt if our input voltage vi becomes less than minus 6.2 volt that means i am talking about this region of the applied voltage the Jenner diode will operate in Jenner breakdown region so consider this portion of the input voltage when vi is greater than 0 0.8 volt when vi will be greater than 0 0.8 volt that means i am talking about this region of the applied voltage our Jenner diode will be in forward bias when the Jenner diode will be in forward bias we can replace it with its constant voltage drop model or a voltage source of 0 0.8 volt now let me do that so for the input voltage vi is greater than 0 0.8 volt our diode will be in forward bias in that case we can replace the Jenner diode with its constant voltage drop model of 0 0.8 volt in that case you will see we will have a voltage source of 0 0.8 volt connected between this terminal to this terminal so our output will be fixed at 0 0.8 volt as long as vi will be greater than 0 0.8 volt vo is equal to 0 0.8 volt if i take the output in this axis you will see from this point to this point our output will be fixed at plus 0 0.8 volt now if the input voltage vi is between minus 6.2 volt to plus 0 0.8 volt the Jenner diode will be in off state or non-conducting state that means I am talking about this region of the applied voltage as the Jenner diode will be in off state we can replace the Jenner diode with an open circuit if I replace the Jenner diode with an open circuit like this I will get a new circuit of this form so you will see in the circuit current I will be equal to zero as the current i will be equal to 0 i r1 will also be equal to 0 as a result our output voltage vo will be equal to vi so as long as vi will be between this minus 6.2 to 0 0.8 volt vo will be equal to vi see from this point to this point our input is changing like this so our output will follow the input voltage from this point to this point our input is changing like this our input is changing like this so output will follow the same wave shape up to minus 6.2 volt see from this point to this point our output is input is changing like this so output will follow the same wave form now if vi is less than minus 6.2 volt that means i am talking about this region in that case the Jenner diode will operate in the Jenner breakdown region as a result the Jenner diode will act as a voltage regulator therefore we can replace the Jenner diode with its corresponding voltage source of Vz in this region so if I replace the Jenner diode with its corresponding equivalent circuit in Jenner breakdown region I will get a circuit like this you will see the negative terminal is in upward direction and positive terminal is in downward direction so or VO will be equal to minus 6.2 volt see from this point to this point our input is going through this VI is less than minus 6.2 volt region in that case VO will be fixed at minus 6.2 volt so here we will get a constant voltage of minus 6.2 volt and this will be our complete output waveform you will get the clear view of this output waveform and input waveform during the simulation now i will show you how to draw the transfer characteristics of the given network i will take the output in the y axis and input in the x axis transfer characteristics is the relation between output and input waveform see this is our output waveform and 
at first we will develop a mathematical relation between output and input waveform we know that vo will be equal to fixed at 0 0.8 volt when vi is greater than 0 0.8 volt we know that vo is equal to vi when vi is in between minus 6.22 plus 0 0.8 volt and VO will be fixed at minus 6.2 volt for VI less than minus 6.2 volt so let's say this is our 0 0.8 volt point and this is minus 6.2 any voltage in the right portion of this 0 0.8 volt will indicate VI 0 0.8 volt in that case our output will be fixed at 0 0.8 volt so let's say in the y axis this is that 0 0.8 volt 0 0.8 and our output will be a constant voltage in this region this will be 0 0.8 between minus 6 to 0. 8 volt VO is equal to VI that means it will follow the straight line equation Y equal to X which is going through the origin with slope M equal to 1 so from this 0 0.8 to up to this minus 6.2 volt I will get a straight line like this and see when VI will be less than minus 6.2 volt that means any applied voltage in the left of this minus 6.2 volt will indicate this region in that case VO will be fixed at minus 6.2 volt so I will get a constant voltage line like this ok so this will be the transfer characteristics this is our given clipper circuit in the simulator if I run the simulation you will see see our input is going through its positive half cycle in which output is slightly following the input voltage up to 0 0.81 volt or 814 millivolt and after that it, it will be fixed at 814 millivolt okay see now our output is now see our input is going through negative half cycle and its negative maximum of minus 20 volt in that case initially output is following the input voltage and after that it will be fixed at minus 6.2 volt okay see from this point to this point output is following input voltage and from this point to this point output is fixed at plus 0 0.81 volt from this 0.81 to minus 6.2 volt output is following the input voltage and from this point to this point output is fixed at minus 6.2 and from this point to this point output is following the input voltage so this will be our input and output waveform over a full cycle the blue waveform is indicating the input voltage and green waveform is indicating the output voltage okay that's it thank you